it's going to end by knockout. This title is going back to Argentina. That's what we came for. And we're going to knock him out before he tries. We worked very hard. We're very well prepared. And we're coming. We're coming like always to give war. Lucas Martin Matisse. I'm glad to be here. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a very long time. Um, you know, I've been I've been getting ready for this fight like no other. I've been in there with the best, and I'm ready to fight the best. I'll bring the belt back to the Ukraine. And thanks for the support. Victor, the Iceman Postal. Victor Postol claims Freddie Roach tells me I'm his new favorite fighter. Partially blocked with the right hand. Crowd like this, but wasn't the big left hook. Good right hand inside by Postol. Legs of Postol this round to Matisse's power shots upstairs. Good jab. Good jab. Big left hook by Matisse. Good oh, good Hard shot. Hard right hand by Matisse. He taken it. over. Everybody knows Matisse operates at a higher level of class than Celtic ID. Yeah. Jack. You know, what are you going to do with a language problem? Anyway. Yeah, you, you can't make fighters brawl, but you can make them box. I'm sure there have been taller fighters at 140 at Stop, some point than Postal. Good oh, jab. Oh. Hard right hand. Postal momentarily had Matisse in trouble. Now you see Matisse going for the knockout. Victor Postol claims, Freddie Roach tells me, I'm his new favorite fighter. Partially blocked with the right hand. Crowd like this, but wasn't the big left hook. Good right hand inside by Postol. Legs of Postol this round to Matisse's power shots Stop. upstairs. Good jab. Good jab. Big left hook by Matisse. Good, oh, good Hard shot. right hand by Matisse. He taken yes, over. Everybody knows Matisse operates at a higher level of class than Celtic ID. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do with a language problem? Anyway. Yeah, you, you can't make fighters brawl, but you can make them box. I'm sure there have been taller fighters at 140 at Stop, some point than Postal. Good jab. Oh. Hard right hand. Postal momentarily had Matisse in trouble. Now you see Matisse going for the knockout. Ends up your fighter to get countered by a big puncher. You seem to want him to press for more offense. The post all lay, lay the TKO. How he's landing these punches right now. He's hitting. Quick combination by Postal and he lands the left hook. Postal re react to Matisse's power. He's reacted very well so far. There's nothing wrong with taking an advantage of a clinch away from a fighter because. Good, good body, body shot. shots by oh. Postal. Ooh, and he goes right back down there on the other side. Matisse's right hand is also dangerous. Not, not in terms of the speed or the power of it, but the way he holds that left jab. And coming back oh. with his own combination. Perfect. Well, question one for Matisse is how to get inside. And combinations, and when he gets when he gets in the inside with this guy, the ball's in the pocket. Not pretty, but yeah, effective. Now, Let him go. Ooh, good right hand. One, two by Posto. Roy, it's not that maybe he thinks he can't hurt him. It's that he feels bad. And there's a quick right hand that helps him. Can Victor Posto prove himself to be the top man in the 140-pound weight class? Once again, being in the wild card with all those killers. Posto starting to land some combinations here in the third round. He's keeping uh, Matisse at a safe distance. Plenty could change in the last couple of rounds. Matisse could turn this around, but let's just assume that. Settle in and throw really good telling punches like those. Almost like he's decided, okay. Matisse Biggest be power of the punch of the oh, fight so far for Matisse. Headbutt, headbutt knocks Matisse back into the ropes. When I say get out of a clinch, you got to get out of the clinch. 
Postal came in as the underdog, but what you would call a very live dog. Jimmy's fighting at his pace. He's fighting at his range. As long as he doesn't do anything stupid, that can often be the critical factor for the judges at ringside. Big right hand from Matisse. Which makes it much more difficult for him to overcome this boxing scenario. Postal getting an early taste of the Matisse power. Harold Letterman saw enough in the boxing. Crowd chance, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Stop, stop, nobody punch. Would be ahead on points, and Batiste would score the late TKO. Be going on, certainly not excessively. Are you saying it's Kisko-ish? Stabilizes him a little bit and gains him some space to throw that jab. Which... This fight is getting better from stop. round to round. The crowd is beginning to get what they expected to see. Hook to the body. And he has enough sting and snap on those punches to keep his opponent honest. Postal is getting better in this fight right now. Now he's starting to sharpen up a little bit. Tell you the truth, I think these two guys are being, you know, they don't seem to understand Jack Reese. And if in a situation like that, he knocks you out with a punch to the back of the head. He's a little more calculated in what he does. He sets things up a little bit more. He comes back to the opposite direction. When he comes to the right, he's coming toward the left hook. And to this point in the fight, he's getting outboxed by Victor Postal. Good body shot again by Postal Stop. with the right hand. You guys are both wrestling and hitting by net. Relax, relax. Quick right hand over the top by Postal. He's forcing a fight. Matisse gets in a left hook. Doing a good job with that long jab early is Postal. Victor Postal is much taller than him. Victor Postal had it all his way in the last round. He's landed both a right cross and a left hook in this round. But now he throws Postal to the canvas. Landing seven more punches than Postal, who's at 57 of 267. Look starts when you sign to fight one of the biggest punchers, maybe the biggest puncher in the division. So he can't give up a body shot and not work inside right there. But a win at this point would not be astonishing. He's getting more assertive, he's getting quicker, he's getting much stop, more confident. Stop. Knocked him a three Another seconds. hard right hand. <laughs> oh, another, another hard right. right hand. Reinforce Postal and make him think, yes, you can beat Lucas Matisse. I like this referee, Jim. Oh, Jack Reese is a good one. Hard right hand again stop. by Postal. Let him go, Victor. Let him go, Victor. Time! I think it is. Reese is a thoughtful referee and, and prepares for those. Victor Postal off to a little bit of a slow start. He can't win unless he exchanges. That Matisse must take that risk. But it was something that he wanted Gunloff to say to Postal. <laughs> Clutch. Oh! and Russian or Ukrainian, that would have been the guy to have tonight from now. There you go. But if this holds up, let me tell you something. Oh, oh, oh. oh. This is over. Victor Postal has knocked out Lucas Batista. Victor, the Iceman Postal. want to knock him out I didn't plan to do that I just came in the fight I wanted to relax and box and do what I do best and the count came it's all great and I assure you this is not gonna be my last knockout yeah I took uh, a few hard shots but that's why my nickname is Iceman because I can take a punch I felt a pop in my eye I felt something pop in my eye but I prefer to take care of my eye and that's why I could have gotten up but I prefer to stay down to protect my eye.